So you're thinking about moving to Simi Valley, California? In this video, I'm gonna give you eight reasons why you might wanna reconsider moving to Simi Valley, California. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Simi Valley, California, subscribe below, tap the notification bell, so you can be among the first to learn about everything that's going on in Simi Valley, California. My name is Steve Heiss, my partner is Trisha Garcia. We get phone calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Simi Valley, California or even in the surrounding areas and we absolutely love it. If you plan on making a move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Simi Valley, California or the surrounding areas. Okay, so like I said before, I'm gonna give you eight reasons you might wanna reconsider living in Simi Valley, California. Now, I personally like Simi Valley. I've lived here for more than half my life, but there are things about Simi Valley that some people just don't like. And guess what? You might not like them either, and I'm gonna go over them now. And if you stick around to the end, number eight is something that you just probably won't believe. So you definitely wanna stick around for that. Number one. Number one is there really is no nightlife here in Simi Valley. Simi Valley pretty much closes up right around eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the evening. There really isn't much to do. There's no nightclubs out here. There's no uh, dancing clubs out here. We do have a few bars out here, uh, but they're usually like dive bars or a bar that you are that's part of a restaurant like TGI Fridays has a bar, something like that. But even then, uh, the bars that are open, they close up pretty pretty early in the in the evening. So there is no nightlife. We do have movie theaters out here, so you can at least do that. But other than that, as far as the nightlife goes, that's one complaint I hear quite a bit from a lot of the locals is there's nothing to do out here in the nighttime at least. Now, one thing I do wanna mention though is during the daytime though, we do have quite a few things that you might be interested in. So we've got um, almost 40 parks out here in Simi Valley and those parks, not all of them, but some of them have tennis courts, basketball courts, pickleball courts, which is one of my favorites, um, uh, horseshoes, shuffleboard, bocce ball, uh, workout uh, routine areas, parts of the park. Also in Simi Valley, we do have a few museums out here that are, that are pretty cool. We have Strathern Museum, which is kind of like the history of Simi Valley. We have um, the Train Depot Museum, which is an old uh, train station uh, that was here in Simi Valley many, many years ago. That's turned into a museum. We also have the Ronald Reagan Library, which is an amazing museum you definitely have to check that out if you ever visit Simi Valley. Um, we also have a lot of hiking trails. So we have 18 documented hiking trails out here in Simi Valley. I actually did a video on the hiking trails not too long ago. So if you check this video out right here, uh, you're gonna see the 18 hiking trails that we have here in Simi Valley. And really, that is, uh, the hiking trails actually are really fun. They're really cool. The scenery is amazing on some of these hiking trails because the way Simi Valley is laid out is we have, uh, we're between two sets of hills and the hiking trails are on both sides of those hills. And when you climb these hills uh, through these trails, you can see the whole valley. It's just amazing. So hiking trails is really cool. But again, the nightlife, we don't, we hardly have any of that at all. All right. Number two, the second reason why you might want to reconsider living in Simi Valley is Simi Valley, no matter where you live, you're gonna live, you're gonna be next to either the freeway, the train tracks, or a wash. Now Simi Valley actually is laid out, it's about 12 miles across and about two and a half to three miles going north to south. So east to west is about 12 miles and north to south is about two and a half, three miles. Now, the way that our freeway is, is we've got the freeway on the very north side of Simi Valley and then we've got the train tracks kind of towards the south side of Simi Valley. And then we have washes all throughout. So what does that mean? It means if you live near the train tracks, uh, you may or may not be bothered by the noise that the train puts out. If you live near the freeway, same thing. You may or may not be bothered by the freeway noise. Now, what I will say though is the freeway uh, the way that they've kind of built the soundproof around the freeway is kind of nice. So it, it, if you do live near the freeway, 
Um, it's not so bad because they did soundproof a lot of it with these nice tall uh, brick walls that are, they look great actually. And then uh, same thing with the, the railroad, there's no soundproofing there, but in all honesty, it's not all that bad. If you, you know, the Metro links come by a few times a day, those are pretty quiet. The freight trains that come by, those only come by a couple times a day as well. Those aren't so bad. Uh, when they, when they kind of honk their horns, it can be kind of loud, but a lot of people have gotten used to the trains. A lot of people have the double pane windows, which actually helps a lot with the noise. So those are two things you want to be worried about um, if you move to Simi Valley, California. Also the washes. So uh, when it rains, the rain has to go somewhere. So we do have washes throughout the city. Now, the one cool thing about the wash is that um, we have on the wash that goes from north, I'm sorry, that goes from east to west, that actually they've turned also into a bike trail. So um, if you look at this map here that I've got laid out, <clears throat> we've got the yellow line up here at the top is the, uh, the freeway. Then this green line down here is the uh, railroads. And then the dark blue lines are the wash that goes from north to south. The, um, the light blue line is the, the wash, which is also the bike trail. So if you kind of look here, it starts on one side of Simi Valley and it goes about nine miles across Simi Valley, um, which is a really cool bike trail. So, you know, we do have the train, we have the, the freeways, we have the trains, we have the wash. But the cool thing about the wash is a lot of that is bike trail and that's a really fun ride to do with your, your family uh, by yourself. You can go walking on it. You can ride your roller skates, scooters, whatever you want. It's a really cool bike trail. Um, but again, you're going to be near the wash. So what does that mean? Why is it a negative? It's a negative because uh, there's a lot of wildlife throughout there. So if you live near a wash, you might have some rodents that are nearby. And also some parts of the wash, if you are at a, a low enough uh, elevation near the wash, you may get stuck paying flood insurance. The third reason why you might want to reconsider moving to Simi Valley is the restaurants. Now let me explain here. We do have a lot of restaurants out here, but I'm talking about the major chain restaurants. If you're somebody that really enjoys going out to the big name restaurants like Cracker Barrel, um, Outback Steakhouse, Cheesecake Factory, um, BJ's uh, Bar and Grill, you, you're you not going to find them here in Simi Valley. You're going to actually have to go outside of Simi Valley to get to those restaurants. Uh, we do have a lot of mom and pop style restaurants here, which actually are quite amazing. I like to frequent a lot of these restaurants and really the mom and pop shops are, are kind of my favorite restaurants. They've always got these special family recipes. So, uh, but getting back to the big chain restaurants, if you want to go to any of those restaurants, you are going to have to go outside of Simi Valley. But the good news about that is it's not too far of a drive. So if you drive in towards the San Fernando Valley, you're going to have maybe a 20 minute to 30 minute drive to get to some of those uh, major restaurants. Uh, anywhere in the San Fernando Valley, it, it's flooded with these big chain restaurants. Um, and then if you wanted to go even further out, you can go into the LA area where they have even more restaurants there. And then if you want to go the opposite direction, you can go towards Thousand Oaks, Newberry Park, uh, Camarillo has a lot of great restaurants, Oxnard. You can go that direction and there's a lot of the big chain restaurants there as well. But again, um, I actually prefer the small mom and pop shops we have here as far as restaurants go. Also, we do have some of the smaller chain uh, style restaurants. So we've got plenty of McDonald's, Taco Bell's, Del Tacos. We've got all those fast food restaurants, but I'm talking about like the, you know, go out and dress up and eat with a family, those kind of restaurants. The fourth reason you might want to reconsider moving to Simi Valley is the climate. Simi comes from a word, uh, Shimiji. Now Shimiji is a Chumash word meaning little wind cloud or little white cloud, something like that. But, but what it really means is we get a lot of wind right here in Simi Valley. And when it is windy in Simi Valley, it is windy. I mean, we're talking about huge gusts of winds that are coming through those hills of Simi Valley and it uproots trees, it breaks branches off, it tears off um, um, signs on the streets. Um, you see pe people's mailboxes are sometimes knocked over even. Uh, shingles from people's roofs are all laid all over the street, leaves all over the place. I mean, it gets very windy out here in Simi Valley during the windy season, which usually lasts about four, sometimes up to six months. 
Now of those four to six months, it's usually about one of those months that is really, really bad. Um, so that's, that's one of the reasons the climate isn't so great out here. Uh, the second part of that is we pretty much have one season out here and that's summertime. And we have summer, 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 and summer. And when it actually is the real summer season, it's pretty dang hot out here. So um, it's usually from 90 to 100 degrees and sometimes exceeds 100 degrees. And then the rest of the year is still pretty hot. In the wintertime, we're wearing shorts and t-shirts. So that's one more reason you might want to reconsider moving to Simi Valley is it is pretty hot out here and it's pretty windy out here. Other than that, we do have a lot of blue skies, which is kind of nice. The fifth reason you might want to reconsider moving to Simi Valley is public transportation. Now, it's probably not important to a lot of people, but if you are someone that really relies on public transportation or prefers to use public transportation, this one might pertain to you. Now, we do have the Metrolink, which will take you anywhere, you know, from Simi Valley, anywhere outside of Simi Valley, going, um, you know, into the Los Angeles area or going up north towards the Ventura area and further beyond. That's great. But I'm talking about public transportation within the city. Now, we only have three bus routes. We've got Route 10, Route 20, and Route 30. And um, those run from 5.30 in the morning till almost 8 o'clock in the nighttime. Um, they pretty much will take you going east to west. I think there's one of the routes will take you a little bit north to south. But if you live anywhere on the no very northern side of Simi Valley or the very southern part of Simi Valley, you're kind of out of luck because, you know, I know you can, once you get off the bus, you can walk to uh, your destination, but walking all the way south can be a long walk and same thing going up north. Now, the cool thing about the public transportation is if you do want to take the bus, a bus ride is only going to cost you $1.50. A day pass is only going to cost you $5 and a month pass is only going to cost you $25. So that's really cool. Also, I will say that uh, the city of Simi Valley does a great job of keeping the bus routes looking nice and clean. Uh, you walk by any bus route and it's just, it's immaculate. It's, they do a great job keeping up the maintenance of, of the, um, the bus stops. The sixth reason why you might want to reconsider moving to Simi Valley is the shopping. And I'm not talking about, you know, shopping for groceries, going to the drugstore, uh, you know, little shops like that. I'm talking about major uh, mall shopping. If you are someone who loves to go to the mall and go shopping and just kind of hang out at the mall and be there and walk around, Simi Valley is not the place for you. Um, we do have a lot of, like I said, mom and pop shop style uh, stores and restaurants. And we even have a Hobby Lobby out here. We've got a lot of, you know, like CVS, Rite Aid, things like that. Uh, we have a Home Depot and, and a Lowe's. We have all those, but we don't have like a, a shopping mall, right? We do have the Simi Valley Town Center, which was designed really to be a shopping mall, but it really isn't a shopping mall anymore. Now you can kind of go through the Simi Valley Town Center. You're gonna find some stores there, but it's nothing you're gonna see like uh, if you were to go shopping at a, like example, Northridge Mall or, um, any outlets, something like that. So you're not gonna find that here in Simi Valley, but the good news is that you can take a 20 minute drive to Northridge and go to the Northridge Mall, which is huge, and they've got all the shops you can imagine. Um, and you, if you go even further, you can go to the Topanga Plaza. Well, it was called Topanga Plaza when I was a kid, now I think it's called um, the Westfield at Topanga Mall, something like that. That one's even bigger than the Northridge Mall. All You can spend the whole day there just walking through <laughs> that that particular mall. Now, if you want to go the other direction, we have Thousand Oaks Mall, which is huge. And if you want to go even further than that, um, we it's uh, the Camarillo Outlets. So Thousand Oaks is going to be about a 20 minute drive. Um, the Camarillo Outlets is going to be maybe a 30 minute drive from Simi Valley. And then Northridge Mall will be 20 minute drive. Topanga Plaza will be eh, 25, 30 minutes. So we don't have a big shopping mall here in Simi Valley, but we do have some that are nearby. The seventh reason why you might want to reconsider moving to Simi Valley is the jobs. So we do have jobs out here in Simi Valley, yes, but I'm talking about corporate jobs. So if you're someone that loves that corporate environment, you really want to have a corporate job, corporate America, Simi Valley really doesn't have too much to offer as far as corporate America goes, you know, working for a corporation. I know Amazon, you know, they just moved out here recently. So we've got some Amazon buildings out here that you might be able to find something there. Um, and we do have, uh, don't get me wrong, we do have some corporate jobs, but nothing that's major, like nothing that's you've really heard of, right? Other than Amazon. 
uh, and mill guard windows. We've got that out here as well. But if you want something corporate, you're probably gonna have to head outside of Simi Valley. So you're gonna have to head into the San Fernando Valley, you know, into uh, West Lake Village maybe, or uh, Warner Center, um, anywhere in the San Fernando, they got a lot of corporate buildings out there. And you also might have to travel into like uh, Thousand Oaks, Newberry Park, where Amgen is at Newberry Park, um, and go even further down into Camarillo as well. The good news really though, is that the, the commute isn't too bad. I mean, if you've ever been to Simi Valley and you've ever driven down the 118 freeway, you know that that freeway is pretty much always flowing pretty easily. It's never really congested. We've also got the 23, which is on the very uh, west side of Simi Valley. That's pretty open as well. So um, no corporate jobs, but the transportation is bad. You hop on the 118, you can easily get into San Fernando Valley pretty quickly. Uh, take that even further onto some other freeways, hop on to um, you know, the I-5 or the 405, and you can get into Los Angeles, downtown LA. It's not too bad. I mean, once you start getting onto those freeways, it gets congested, but the 118 freeway, you're always gonna flow pretty easily. And if you hop onto the 23 going like towards the Ventura area, that's pretty open as well. That'll take you onto the 101 freeway. 101 can take you into LA as well, and it can also take you towards the Ventura area, you know, Thousand Oaks, Newberry Park, Camarillo, even further down. So not a lot of corporate jobs, but transportations to get there isn't too bad. Okay, the eighth reason you might wanna reconsider moving to Simi Valley is the population. In Simi Valley, we have about 127,000 residents that live here in Simi Valley, and 44% of those 127,000 residents are over the age of 45. So there's a lot of old folks that live here in Simi Valley. Now, that explains why there's no nightlife most likely, um, but the cool thing is also is that it feels very safe here in Simi Valley. I've lived here for a long time and it feels very safe. Um, and the next thing is, it's a great place to raise a family. So I know we've got some negatives here in Simi Valley, but we also have a lot of positives here in Simi Valley. I love Simi Valley. And you know, even after hearing all these reasons of why you may not want to move to Simi Valley, there really is an upside to each one of those. So if you are thinking about moving to Simi Valley, it doesn't matter if it's in nine days or nine uh, months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you set up here in Simi Valley. Hey, look, do me a favor, press the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, uh, like the video, say something nice in the comments, maybe share the video with somebody. And hey, I hope to see you around town. Have a great day.